Hey everyone, today I will talk about 5 creators who had a big influence on GD. Enjoy! 1. Viprin Viprin was expected to be in this list. Started at 1.0 and became a popular creator due to his call-ups and amount of CP. Because of his levels, the copy and paste rent was slowly existing and he became known by the whole community. He is now known as Viprin and Paste and people used as jokes for levels but he also had a big influence on GD. Because of his call-ups, people had more interest in building and the whole call-up trend was actually existing because of him. He also had information he shares about updates in the Jump 3 Dash game, which helps the community a lot. Everything combined, he's an influential person both in creating and moderating. Optical was and is known for his creating style called modernistic design. He always created something original which left other creators stunned. They are well polished and great looking. The main cause why Optical was so inspiring for the Jump 3 Dash community is because Jump 3 Dash was his first step to his career. As some people might know, he quit playing Jump 3 Dash some months ago and a lot of people miss him. He left because he wants to focus on becoming a motion artist. Jump 3 Dash made him like this and it's always really inspiring to see good creators actually make work from their hobbies. He sure is a very influencing creator and I wish him lots of luck with his future. Three, Sir Punch. Sir Punch is a well-known minigame creator due to his popular alter games. He's so influential because of his alter game series and his most known level called Master Game. Master Game did not have that many stunning and original concepts in it, which were hard to create. But it was more the fact that he started the minigame trend and people did not know what was going on when they saw this masterpiece. This was one of the first well executed minigames and it inspired people to build more of these. Now we see other minigames like Tic Tac Toe in the game and the minigames improve every day and this is due to this creator. 4. Jonathan GD Jonathan GD is one of the few creators who consistently makes epic levels. They are always deep in difficulty and he improved really fast. Most of them get noticed really fast and he's really popular even though it's tiny amount of creator points. He has such a big influence on the GD community because he showed everyone that you can be a really good creator when you just dedicate a lot of time on the level you create. He spends time on every part of the level and blows the community up with his effects and originality. More and more people are dedicating their levels to him and think of him as an inspiring and amazing creator. He also is inspiring for me because he does not speed grind. That means he does not make levels for popularity in general, but just because he wants to make a good level, which will grab people's attention anyways. They are always well optimized and that shows what he is capable of. 5. Eddie L. This last creator is different in many ways in comparison with these other four creators. His influence on the community happens in a good way and in a bad way, because of this reason. Ariel is probably known because of his very popular levels. He, cr he created the level Promises and there is lots of cr controversy about the level by more known creators. All his levels have one thing in common and that's that they are very lazy and often made in only one day. But let's talk about the fact why it leaves a bad influence on the GD community first. Some people might get demotivated if levels like this get rated. Like they spend several months on a level which got a feature and then they see this low key feature. The good thing is that it also motivates new creators to build levels again. They think they might get a feature if they build something like Eddie does and put more work in the levels.